Welcome back to Welsh Miniature Board Gamer, and today we're going to have an unboxing and review of the Rangers of Shadow Deep uh, Rangers 1 set. So these are the official miniatures for the Rangers of Shadow Deep game. Uh, this is the first one, I believe there is a second pack that you can buy. So as you can see, it comes in this clamshell packaging, uh, as is usual for these sort of things, and it's made by North Star Military Figures, so the official uh, maker of Frostgrave and Rangers of Shadow Deep. So in this pack we have a female and a male ranger. So this is the female ranger. She is armed with two short swords and is yeah pretty impressive looking the way she's got the stance. And of course they're metal miniatures, which I really like metal miniatures. There's something I don't know premium feeling about metal miniatures, even though you know plastic now can probably out detail metal without really much argument about that. This is the male, so this is the guy that you see on the front of the book. You know, you see the dude walking uh, in the woods We're carrying the severed head. So yeah, there is some flash on this thing, and his sword is bent at weird angles, but we'll try and deal with that a little bit as we paint him. But yeah, he is carrying a severed undead head, or orc head, I'm not quite sure. Looks more like an undead, because he's got a full head of hair and not many goblins or orcs have full heads of hair, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, he looks really nice. We're going to have to clean up the flash, like I say, but, you know, that's that's part of the course of metal miniatures. You're always going to have some cleanup. There doesn't seem to be any seam lines or, you know, slip or anything. It's just that, uh, you know, the, the little bit of uh, flashing on uh, the sword, etc. So, let's have a look like like what I've got done when I've painted them up. So first of all we got the female uh, ranger and I've painted her up in sort of uh, more drab colours you know I don't really want her being highly uh, visible you know bright oranges reds etc kind of defeat the point of her being a ranger but I went for this sort of greyish colour um, tunic and a uh, black trousers, brown boots, she has a bit of a reddish tone to her hair to give her a bit of um, a bit of lightness to it and then we've got the green sort of woodman's cloak and she painted up really nicely and I do like the way she looks um, when she's finished. Uh, I must admit one of my favourite uh, miniatures I've painted for a decent while. Uh, the basin is just some texture paint, uh, some flocking and a few tufts from actually i don't even remember who the manufacturer of the tufts are but you know that's i'm sure you can find tufts that would match it if you were going for the same look and i think she's going to fit in rather well not just with rangers of shadow deep but uh, she could be in frostgrave or role-playing games etc as a character then we got the main dude, the dude from the book cover, uh, the ranger. So he, yeah, again, I went for proper rangerish colours, so greens, browns, sort of blacks and greys, you know, sort of colours which will be tonally more in keeping with a ranger than, uh, you know, someone too fancy. Uh, painted up really nicely again. I couldn't get rid of the bending his sword completely there's still a slight warp to it um, but it's good enough that I don't think many people would notice uh, I kind of like the um, the grey I picked for the cloak, it looks really nice the face on the zombie I'm not that pleased with, I, I need to go back really and pick out some details etc, make it look a little bit less um, I don't know, I was going to say a little bit less dead, but he's a zombie, so, you know, maybe he's meant to look dead. Um, so, yeah, I've given him, like, a, a stubbly beard, and, yeah, I, I think both of these miniatures are really nice, and I'm going to look forward to using them in whatever fantasy uh, setting or game that I feel like playing. But especially, of course, Rangers of Shadow Deep, which is probably my, one of my favourite um, miniature war games at the moment. So putting him next to a uh, cultist from Frostgrave, like this guy is a bit slouchy and you know he, he's quite a tall dude the ranger, you know he, he is the hero so obviously he's going to be quite tall. And next to the barbarian, again the barbarian is quite slouched but still yeah they look in keeping in scale etc if you take that he is on a larger base than the uh, barbarian is or a raised base. So next an oath mark militiaman as you can see 
yeah, I think he looks suitably heroic without looking too proportionally out of uh, out of scale, etc. You know, but you'd expect that both of these miniatures are made by North Star military figures. So all in all, my opinion on these is they're really nice miniatures, and you know, if you're looking for a ranger, uh, or a ranger or two to be put in a game, yeah, definitely worth getting. So if you've liked this video, please leave a like, and if you want to leave a comment, you can always leave a comment below. I answer every comment that is put on my videos, and if you want to see more, you can always subscribe, and I would appreciate that very much. But until next time, it's going to be goodbye from me, Welsh Miniature Ballgamer.